I might sound like I'm ranting and this might be an extremely hot take and you could walk away from this video and be like, what the hell was she talking about? Shut up. And that's fine. I really, that's totally okay. But I just have to say, I saw a TikTok comment that said, people don't know that there's something called an intended audience. And I thought they were being like facetious or they were, they were being like, you know, superfluous what they were saying. I'm like, oh, maybe, yeah, there's some people who don't know there's an intended audience, but there's always been like that. But no, I think they're right. And the reason why I say this is because I scroll through social media now, um, not as much as the average social media -er, but I might scroll through every once in a while and I see artists come out with music, I see people talk about books they like, I see all this different stuff. I'm like, oh, that's so interesting. But social media has made it, and I don't know what it is, but like social media, learning, something, has made it so that people cannot truly tell when they're the intended audience. And it makes it even harder for like people who market music or market their art, because then you run across people who are like, this is shit. And it's like, if you don't like it, you weren't the intended audience, just move on. Like, and I say this because I just saw a post about Sabrina Carpenter. Now, Sabrina Carpenter has come out with some pretty big uh, songs recently and people don't like popular things. They, they tend to be like, oh, it's overplayed, whatever. That's fine. I'm sure that everyone's guilty of saying that at least once in their life. However, 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 the post was like, oh, pop music's going to shit. Like, oh, like people like Sabrina Carpenter, like there's no club bangers anymore. There's no pop music. It's just blah, blah. It's like, I have to keep from rolling my eyes because the whole point, and I'm just using Sabrina as an example because that's what I saw, but the whole point of artists is that they have styles. They have creative expression. Um, now there are some pop songs and pop artists that buy songs. There's, they buy songs written by songwriters and singing blah, 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 whatever. But the thing that gets me, that really gets me is that there are artists who are pop that make club bangers. But it's almost like no one can read that they're not the intended audience for that song. If you don't like espresso or, or you know, 1989 or whatever, so be it. That's fine. But it's just interesting to me that people go to artists that specifically don't really do the music that they think, like, they want to hear. And then they're like, this shit, because it's not what I expected. It just makes me wonder, like, if we can really read what the intended audience is supposed to be like. Because if you wanted to find a pop banger... Charlie XCX. Easy. I could think of a few. I could think of, you know, some of Nicki's songs. If you like pop, Nicki Minaj makes some pop. She raps a lot, don't get me wrong. But you could go Charlie XCX. You could go, you know, someone who's a little bit more boppy, some music that you like, some EDM music, like Chainsmokers, whatever. You could go whatever direction you want to. I promise you someone makes it that way. But if you hear a song more than three times, it's like, oh, I can't do it anymore like that. I just don't think people realize that they can leave it and scroll away. And it makes it even harder as like an indie artist or someone like that, because people who are not your intended audience jump on and talk about it like they are the intended audience, but they're not. It's okay to like move on and not engage with content. I feel like we have a problem with not engaging with content and just being like, well, I don't like that, but let's keep going. Music is subjective, art is subjective. And I feel like people forget that A, it's subjective. B, you may not be the intended audience. And C, not every song that an artist comes out with is gonna be your favorite. It's like, it feels like it's common sense. And I know I'm ranting a little bit, but it's just one of those things I'm like, Man, it kind of bothers me because it bums artists out. Like, and I know Sabrina's big and she may not see all the hate or whatever. And it's not really necessarily about her specifically, but just in general, like the hate that you spew out because you weren't the intended audience is like, 
Well, no. Like, I, it just confuses me. If you want to find pop bangers, you could go Charlie, you could go Rina Sawayama, you could go old school, you could go Britney, you could go, there's a lot of new pop and there's a lot of old pop that you could, there's a whole 20 year range, even farther than that, that you could listen to. And yet you choose to like crap on someone when you weren't the audience for their music. Right. It's one of those things that really gets under my skin and I just had to talk about because I'm like, I don't understand how people don't realize that they're not who is supposed to be listening to it. And if they are and they do like it, that's great, but you just don't have to engage with stuff you don't like. That's all I'm saying.